Stop being so sensitive, bitch. You ain't no bad bitch for real. I seen you before you got your ass and titty done. Is Trina there? Trina! World, are y'all ready? You know what's up when this sound begin. We about to go in. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't never seen no show like this. Cracking jokes and singing, we won't miss. 5150 up in this bitch. Yeah, you ain't never seen a show like this. Ghetto folks gon' be all in their bliss Trying to make you laugh until you piss yeah. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Yeah 5150 2022 It's on I'm about to say some real things Rip the mic and bring the pain Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Yeah 50 One motherfucking 50 In the motherfucking house Hair looking nifty <laughs> I came in that motherfucker I'm on 50 yeah. <laughs> Looking like Craig Robinson Jr. <laughs> <laughs> no one else pieces the hood. <laughs> Fifty-one fifty in the motherfucking house. Darlene or GOTs, wet man. I mean Marcus <laughs> and my brother, Craig. Motherfucking facts hey, popped hey. in on us today, motherfucker. Y'all can hey. kiss my ass, though. Fifty-one fifty, living strong, nigga. I get motivated by some of them motherfucking things I saw back in the day. Man, I be seeing them little quotes on there. 5150 over now. Nigga, fuck you <laughs> cake ass nigga. 5150 live and strong, motherfucker. Straight up. God damn it. 5150 live and strong. That's funny because those you didn't need it. <laughs> Motherfuckers talking about what we ain't going to be. 5150 over. Nigga, let me Shit. tell you something, dog. Greatest podcast ever. Hey, look, if I brag, please forgive me. I'm like Jesus, nigga. Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like on, Jesus, man. nigga. Come on. Craig Fax and Nate are two brothers that continue to excel. Everybody else took a step down when they got the fuck away from me. I'm Jesus, nigga. Oh, poor Jesus. Every motherfucker who got away from me stepped down. God damn it, you didn't believe in my power. For I am kind. What's that, Xerxes on 300? Hell yeah. Motherfucker, let me tell you something. Boy, this is a motherfucking movement, man. Motherfucker get mad if they want to. God damn it. You get the fuck away from Corey Holcomb. It don't go up for you. It run a little bit. Then after a while, motherfuckers be like, oh, no, that's the business over there, 5150. Let me say something negative about him. You know, like, that's how they go. <laughs> let me let me start some trouble with him so I can have him. I saw that nigga. Him. I saw that whole ass nigga. He wasn't never part of the show, but he, he, he talked shit about the show. He called. He made it seem like my show is buffoonery. Oh. Uh, 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 the, the whole ass nigga. <laughs> Brown ass nigga. Oh. <laughs> oh. You know what, Brown. Craig? Stop. Oh. You know what? You know. Oh, I oh. <laughs> you know everybody was in front of the motherfucking comedy store, <laughs> yeah. and the nigga stepped over I there. Was, I was like, "What's up, my nigga? You good?" 
<laughs> yeah, I'm good. Yeah, all right. You know what I'm saying? You got to be, some niggas, you got to let them be like, hey, you can't just step in the circle and don't nobody say shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not, not, you, it ain't starting I shit. Did, I did see him. It's it was just, up there, yeah. when you a man and you know some other man feeling some kind of way about you, it's best to address it by saying, what's up, my nigga, you good? <laughs> That's how you supposed to do it. That's how, it, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It, it, shit, it ain't no motherfucking, uh, well, big shout out to Bishop, I don't know who that is. Okay. Uh, thanks for the $50, nigga, shit. We needed that shit, nigga. Drip so hard by the, all right, yeah, all that good shit. So <laughs> um, whenever a nigga that is uncomfortable atmosphere, Sometimes it's best to be like, hey, you all right? Okay, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not because you're trying to start no shit. It's just I don't like that awkwardness of silence when a nigga step over there and everybody be like. Yeah, yeah, that's you what You got to check the temperature. You check ever, the temperature. That's what it's called. You ever see if a nigga all right and he think you're tripping but you're not? You're like, man, you all right. Exactly. Like, what you not mind? I ain't tripping, bro. I'm just saying, make sure you Oh, oh yeah. I get it when you say to people, oh, okay, well, I wish you well. Wish me well. Yeah, it's like, like wait, whoa, what? <laughs> well, okay, some, some motherfuckers crazy, but yeah. I, ain't, I ain't talking shit. I'm just saying, I watch niggas. I ain't never did nothing to that nigga before. Yeah. I went on motherfucking Zo show and he felt like playing superhero, but really I got the text. I never put the text out. He kept begging to come on my show. But I just couldn't find a place for him. Like so many niggas, it's cause niggas gonna be like, "You had Craig, come on!" I'll be like, "Motherfucker, you ain't Craig." <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers will be like, "You had Chico, come on, dog. You not Chico." <laughs> this is how this shit go. I done took chances with niggas and lost. Me too. The dope fiend experiment still be on my mind. I be like, oh, <laughs> oh I motherfucking tried to save a nigga career and I still wasn't shit. <laughs> the dope feed experiment. The dope feed experiment. You take a nigga under your motherfucking wings and you show him love. You be like, nigga, don't worry about that. I got you on all that. We gonna get you straight. You gonna have a driver's license. All that shit. <laughs> He's stupid. And the niggas just hate you. And you be like, what the fuck, nigga? I couldn't let you keep coming around because you was too off the chain. You was touching people. You was kissing people's on the mouth and shit. Oh it, 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 I'm just saying, yeah, I ain't did yeah. no bogus shit to nobody for real, for real. But motherfuckers who I had around me, motherfuckers try to stay the fuck up from around me because this is the truth. Mm. This is the bold shit. And I'm sure... See, I, I'm so glad Craig, Craig had a crew. Because <laughs> I know he didn't know. I didn't know. I, didn't, I knew he didn't know. I had no idea, man. Let me tell you something, man. Jealousy is the realest shit that you gonna motherfucking face that you really can't do nothing about. Right. Can't do nothing about no motherfucker that's jealous. Jealous motherfuckers gonna come around you, and even if they weren't jealous for they got around you, when they see you shine, they gonna get jealous. Bitches too, D. Oh, who you telling me? The shit don't shit, make no sense, man. You can't understand it because you don't think like that. I, but since I got kicked in the ass so much, I be like, what niggas really be jealous of you? You would call me every once in a while and be like, you straight? Like you like, <laughs> like, like, like you know some shit was going on. Some shit, shit been going on, it's weird, your man. Show? I mean, yeah, man, it's just, it's just life, man. It's when motherfucker, cause you know, I uh. guess cause my pa got a solid pops. So I never feel like I deserve some shit I didn't earn. Mm. Mm. Nah, Craig, but this another thing I want to say to you. Them niggas mad er. Is that a word? Matter? Yeah. Is that a real word? Yeah. Matter, yeah. They even matter cause they can't whoop you. Right, yeah, that's the real shit. That really make yeah. motherfuckers mad because they be like, <laughs> I can't just beat him up like I want to. Man. Mark is a little nigga, but I believe Mark is a motherfucking fight to the end. Oh, He'll be yeah. swinging up like a motherfucker. Come here, nigga. <laughs> you keep punching up the niggas till he get one in. <laughs> but them niggas be mad because they can't whoop you. They can't whoop you. I see these niggas yeah. that used to be up under me. Yeah. And I'm so glad I, didn't, I ain't so old yet. Well, I can't.
take care of myself. Because I done seen the look in niggas' eyes. These the niggas, they used to be right up under me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Corey, you the greatest. <laughs> now them motherfuckers, they see me and they keep walking. I be laughing. But when they walking away, I be like, ha, 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 ha. Because I'm an antagonist a little bit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I want to be better. D, you can't see. Look, what I'm trying to tell y'all is. That's no. what he got on. We talk about this shit, man, but nigga, fuck that shit, man. I, I just can't be in public and run into a nigga I know who motherfucking don't like me for no reason that used to be up under me and just watch the nigga just, I feel the temperature on I these niggas. I get the residuals. You already know this. You know we get the residuals. Uh, we oh, get the, yeah. right? We get from yeah. his fallouts or whatever you want to yeah. call it. No, they don't. Don't no motherfucker pull that shit with Craig or Marcus. You talk about you, D. No, not a lot. It when them, when them, time. when them hang with homosexual niggas, I ain't gonna even say they homosexual. Please don't say. Let's say they hang with homosexual niggas, roll their eyes at you, because they don't say nothing to you, right? Well, no, it's been They long. just roll their eyes at you, right? That was then, but it's been long enough where I've seen them recently and they just kind of give me a smile, almost like they feel guilty, they feel bad. I saw the look on their face. So they did give me a little look like, sorry. Cause she talking about the hang with homosexual crew out there in motherfucking Hollywood. I'm talking about the niggas. They ain't the stars, but they be right up under the stars. And, the I niggas, thought, and I've been friends with them forever. And all yeah. of a sudden I went out one night, I forget what show we did, who was on our show. And then I went, oh, it was right when Nate started joining the show and I went out for Valentine's, Nate was hosting it. It was a big show. And you saw one of them hang with the homosexual niggas? I saw the whole crew. I saw about at least four or five of them. Yeah. And I was like, hey, what's up? And they were like, mm. the fuck away. I was oh. like, oh. And I was like, oh. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's different for me. And see, with D, they roll their eyes at her. I right. was like, what? And what makes it so bad? These are homosexual men. They be looking at you like this, D. They That's are. why I ain't going to give you no dick, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they be looking at you. They I know. Nuts. I know the niggas you talking about. I know Only reason I won't say their names. Please don't. Because they don't roll their eyes at me. <laughs> now that, that hang with the homosexual crew, they don't be like, they don't want, this is what they scared of. Me saying, get your fruit booty ass out my face. That's, that's what they scared. <laughs> and these are niggas I hooped with. Man. I'm talking about this the Hollywood game. Marcus, yeah. you don't know nothing about hoop. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but I'm saying. <laughs> I could probably beat your fat In Hollywood. Oh, that's it's a challenge. And that ain't even good. We got something new for the new year. Marcus, yeah. you're too slow. I saw you run. Look. <laughs> oh, he can't run. Man, that nigga can't know. run, dog. <laughs> that nigga, Murphy. I beat that nigga, Captain dog. Captain I pulled a hammy because I don't be running no more. Be shit, man, yeah, man that nigga low. Him and the dope fiend. I beat both of y'all. <laughs> I, I beat both of y'all that night. I just, just both of y'all low in boots. I boots. Get the fuck out of here. I was winning. I was winning until I pulled up with the hammy. I still have the video. I have two videos. He said I tried to get him. He tried to get him. He tried to No, but back on some real shit. If they had a a gay league out here, there the are some league. tremendous gay basketball players. <laughs> now that's what nobody ever says. See, they always giving the WNBA credit, but the gay male basketball players are stupendous. It's just we don't ever say their name. You be like, damn, that motherfucker can fly. That's them wings. <laughs> yeah, he ain't got no Red Bull in him, and that motherfucker don't. <laughs> he got uh, red balls in him. Hell no. Craig Fax, though. I'm, I'm glad you're here, man. Like, it's like, what, what is it something you, we need to know about something that you've been doing? You was telling me about some shit. I was proud of the shit you said. Oh, yeah. No, I just uh, I started a little podcast network. Where I, uh, you know, I got my show and I'm producing like ten other shows, and um, yeah, so it's called the Comedy Press, and it's like the CNN of comedy, where it's all comedians just reporting on, you know, news, sports, and stuff like that. You know, hmm. you don't know? shock nice. me. I always knew you was gonna be yeah, a, yeah. a yeah. massive producer Craig in the long run. Yeah, yeah Craig Facts. I'm gonna Craig Facts to this app called Caffeine. And so on YouTube, I switched my show to the morning from 11.30 to 2, roast with the host. So I'll be having people calling in and roasting with me and talking shit. 
like a video from, chat on from YouTube. From 11 to 2? From 11 to 2, yeah. So I, I, I still do Craig Facts on Tuesday every once in a while, but I'm trying to move it to the morning because, you know, I'm trying to get back on the road with the stand-up heavy. So I need, ah, I go. need the day, I, mean, I need to mm -hmm. start off early so I can work my material at night, you know? Mm -hmm. Got to pre-record too sometimes. Yeah, huh? for real. <laughs> Yep, yep. But you got yeah. a pre-record. Look at Craig. Got that hat on. There it is. Boy, fuck that shit. Don't show that bullshit no more. No, you're so stupid. <laughs> that, nigga that nigga got a bucket with a short brim on that. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga with got a, short a Bushwick brim. bucket on. <laughs> Heck yeah. So Corey Holcomb be talking shit, and I can't help this. I know. I don't be trying to have the celebrities mad at me, but... This shit is so funny. I had to read it as it was brought to my attention, man. I ain't, oh my God. So, old girl Amber Rose. This is what I'm saying. All these women out here, they like to act like Corey is a woman basher. But hold on, man. I'm telling you, these bitches lost. They don't have a clue. Here's a quote from Amber Rose. Y'all ain't gonna believe this shit. Wait till you hear this shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yes, you know who Amber Rose is? I know who yeah, it is. Yeah, we all know who it is. Go old bitch. You must hear this. Amber Rose said, it's a little quick, like two, three sentences. Amber Rose says, don't laugh at the first part because it's just so funny, like it's ridiculous. Why is it, this is what Amber Rose said, listen to this. Why is it so hard to find an intelligent, sexy, rich, successful, tatted gentleman that also has kids, but is not an abusive narcissist, and he's definitely an atheist, but also a feminist? Jesus. I'm not asking for much. <laughs> <laughs> maybe Nigga, she, that one's specific maybe, as maybe fuck. Maybe she did it in being fun, because that sounds too much. You see how D give it a bit of a doubt, Cause because D think just, like her? No, I do not. I'm saying because it's so I outrageous. I knew it for I read this D. You was going to give her a bit of a doubt. Hello, loud mouth. I got to scream just like you. No, I said that because it sounds so outrageous. That sounds ridiculous. How no, you doing? D, listen. Come on. She's got to be being, that's got to be a joke. Darlene, that's you know, too funny. there are too many women in this America who keep going through the same cycle <laughs> with a man a and think that everybody else fucked up. Mm. That just sounds too, that's too much, girl. I know you're not serious. It's not a joke. She's serious. She's serious. The woman, as so many of them, are insane. <laughs> it's bitches live with their mama in their 40s on Instagram asking for people just like this. Some imaginary dude they made up in their mind. See, they said that she's being uh, sarcastic. She's not being sarcastic. Y'all give it a bit of it out of doubt as being sarcastic. So We're actually hoping she I, I bet you there's so many dudes in our inbox <laughs> saying they fit that description. I mean, have you seen her life? What was that? thing they was on was it the, the slut walk or something yeah, that like that something like that yeah that she was just joking with that too right <laughs> she used to strip am i right yeah and kanye what? cuffed her all right at some point he, he couldn't control her so just like most of the girls he get done with he bash him mm -hmm. am i right right he did pretty bad yeah after she left kanye she got with the one brother and let him skeet up into the keyboard was they had a child. They had a child. <laughs> right. Skeeter the keeper. Right. She was like, I'm, I'm going to keep this one. Let loose. Wiz. Wiz up in there. <laughs> Wiz, Wiz blamed, dinner. Either she blamed him or he's blaming the fact that he did that walk and that, that something happened. Like he's I ain't him. heard Wiz Khalifa bashing her. A, a, has anybody else? No. Mm -mm. I heard. I, I, I mean, I'm pretty like that. Far out with yeah, they had a fallout, whatever. But, they have a kids yeah. but this is the point I'm trying to make. You could follow this woman's life and see how unstable she is at this stage of life. Right. And if you want to say she was joking, okay. I'm hoping it was. I'm just saying. It just sounds so ridiculous. It do I'm sound like, like sarcasm. It making before. me laugh because all that, I was like, wait, more? She was asking. And then the way she, the way she, she put it sounded like that, sarcasm. That made me laugh so be. bad. That made me laugh when she said tatted. <laughs> Tatted? I'm just what saying, I, I watched the woman. She's not intelligent at all. That is hella funny. She's a stoner 
who niggas want to smash. Oh right. And she is probably going through so much shock in life when she find out that's all they wanted was some pussy from me. And then she have I'm talking one. about a nigga who really doing something. Ain't no nigga who really doing something finna be like this, my girl. She publicly had it out with her mom too, didn't she? Remember she publicly had it. Who was that with her? 21? Remember when she was dating him and he did, yeah. Wait a minute, he was one of her too? Yeah, that was just Right broad. before. Uh -huh. I ain't even brought up all these people, but it don't matter. Damn. What I'm saying is, Amber Rose reflects most of the women I know out here in the game. Right. They really think they finna land somebody that's gonna take care of them forever. <laughs> that's the goal of the average Instagram bitch. Right. To land a fool <laughs> that would hold them up. And when you don't hold them up, they pile cases on you, Pope brother Deshaun Watson. You can say is. whatever you want to say. I know Deshaun Watson gave his first NFL check to all the workers at the place where who worked up there at the, at the football stadium. Um, this was around hit. the pandemic yeah, hit. Yeah, that was very G of him. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Now all of a sudden the nigga doing what? <laughs> what was the nigga accused of? Showing his dick? Do you know we will all be in jail if we can get charged with showing our dick to a girl that we with. I'm talking about out with. We didn't all did it. Niggas have showed they dick to a girl they out with. For one sure. way or another. They, showed it, they say he showed it in public? They saying that he was exposing himself while they was giving him a massage. Oh, that's the fella oh, that was yeah, getting yeah, all yeah. those, but he was ordering all those masseuses. He was ordering the hoes off Instagram with right. no management of the hoes. Nobody right. had paperwork for the hoes. Like so this is what ADA happened when you right. deal with hoes. If you got hoes around you with no paperwork for them to sign, they, well, he did this to me. Yeah, he need to hire Phil. You know, <laughs> Phil is a good hoe Phil. scraper, man. Yeah, he, Phil. Phil be getting them hoes. Yeah, man. And he don't fuck with them either. Phil uh -huh. just get them hoes up there. He be like, go on, do that. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Pickle, he just look over a crowd and gather. Oh yeah, that bitch, that bitch all right. <laughs> no, but I'm saying, man, like I, I just don't, I don't believe that this world holds up the treachery of lost hoes. You never hear how treacherous the lost hoes are. You just hear about guys did something wrong. These hoes, look. Let me tell you something. I say this sincerely. I feel bad for the sister, Brittany Griner. Yeah. I feel bad for her, but I think she got used to being able to do what she do on the plane. Right. And they caught her up, and the punishment ain't fair. But what I'm trying to say is, have you ever told a bitch she can't do something? Of course. Them bitches. Look at you like you are the enemy. Hell yeah, pussy ain't nothing but a long-term robbery. Once they, <laughs> once they, once they figure out they can't get nothing from you, they start acting a fool. Will man. you please say that again, man? The pussy ain't nothing but a long-term robbery, man. <laughs> you know, man, that man hit that shit on the dot. <sighs> what, what shit, man? I'm saying like I'm lucky, man. I most of the hoes I fuck with. They really ain't mad at me no more because I told them who I who the fuck I was, sort of. Especially as I got older, I ain't with no hoes who ain't got no idea who I am. Like when a bitch walk up on you when you with another bitch, the bitch that you with supposed to be like, oh, that's his other bitch. Yeah. Your girl ain't supposed to be like, what the hell is this? <laughs> oh my god, I thought it was just me. <laughs> I would look at that dude and be like, did you tell her it was just her? You wrong for that, nigga. You ain't supposed to do no girl like that and make her believe in y'all. That's a dangerous way to live, boy. You, you got a girl out here who counting on you to just be with her. You a dirty motherfucker, boy. That's real shit. I don't want to get too deep into it because that's how some niggas left my show. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about what we do with hoes out here. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I have, I, have, I have really 
taking notice to what we do as men. Every once in a while, you meet a man who just be with one girl. It's very rare. Very rare. It's a nigga who be at the improv. The this one. nigga be with his girl every week. He come to the improv? Well, what's wrong with that? Oh, you talking about a cop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You talking about, yeah, yeah. OG. OG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That man has his woman with him almost everywhere they go. And guess what? They actually be laughing and be happy. Yeah. Am I wrong? No. <laughs> when I see them, I be like, how the fuck did y'all do that? Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> he have her with him. I salute them. Yeah. I be like, wow, I fucking love it. I wish I could capture that magic. You don't want that magic. Okay, D. Isn't that what he just got through? I, I didn't say what I didn't want. I'm just saying, I wish I could capture it. It's very rare. It's very rare. It is. How many people do you see out with their girl and be happy? Most motherfuckers, when they be with their girl, they be like, yeah, man. It depends on where you're at, too, sometimes. Like, I love going to concerts and seeing, you know, cutesy yeah. couples and stuff. See happy couples? How many happy couples you think you see at a concert? You see a nigga held hostage. Oh, yeah. stop. Everybody's having Watching a bitch sing that he can't stand, but he don't want to argue with the bitch he <laughs> no, with. Could be guys, could be girls. I'm saying I've gone to a lot of concerts where there's variation of performers, men, women. But I do look at them, oh, that's cute, especially the ones having fun where they're dancing. Sometimes when yeah. you at a concert, it'd be a dude, and he <laughs> took her there because it's new pussy for him. Oh, here that, we that's, go. That's that fake happy. You yeah. could tell the Lord. That motherfucker be in the audience with the girl oh. like, <laughs> You could tell the long-term That shit ain't real? No. You could tell the long-term people. They really got it going on. You can see where Like, it's hard to talk about shit like this. Marcus, what you say? What's hard for you? Taking a woman with somewhere with a bunch of bitches there. Because you're not ready. Oh my God! Did Marcus? I think yet. Marcus just said the realest statement out his mouth <laughs> on the Fifty One Fifty show. Little brother says some real shit, but I dare you to say that again loud. Say it. Say it's it with hard, conviction, it's Marcus. Me, it's hard for me, man, to take uh, a bitch to an event where there's a bunch of bitches at. <laughs> you know? That they is mad, they church. Be, they be mad at me. Every single time. Why do they be mad at you, Marcus? Because I be leaving them and shit. Because I be going to talk to other bitches. <laughs> 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 hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> fuck every time I go out. Hell That's no. I be like, Don't go out with me then. Because I'm going to go out and mingle. That's the thing. See, so long as you give that little disclaimer to them and they're aware of it, then they shouldn't have a problem with it. They do. You can check them. See? Hell no. That's funny. <laughs> that nigga say, whenever I go out, where there's a whole bunch of hoes, the woman that's with me be mad at me because I'm mingling with the hoes. <laughs> now, that's a G-ass statement. <laughs> that's a G-ass statement. <laughs> Do you have a girl? I mean, I got somebody I fuck with. Somebody special, that's how they say it. Yeah. You got a passion, you got a passion girl? <laughs> but we falling out now, so oh, oh no! no. Oh, shit, I don't even know no. this shit gonna, uh, gonna come back. <laughs> no, see, I ain't mean to put Not you on the spot. The I'm gonna bag off unless you really no, want to speak. Marcus, see Marcus, you starting to be like me, dog. You starting to realize <laughs> ain't nobody ever gonna be with you. <laughs> don't, 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 don't take that. Don't listen to that. Marcus, you, you too want. young to give up. You mm. might actually find a. A goof-ass bitch out here is all about oh, you. Oh, why do they gotta be goofy? <laughs> That's terrible. No, I'm saying, I'm saying like, Marcus is still on the come up. For a bitch to fuck with Marcus for real, it's got to be real love. Marcus is still on the come up. Yeah. I'm telling you how women do. A bitch will choose you, but, and I ain't gotta put the rest after the but. Cause you, you know what I'm saying? You know when you establishing yourself right. in this world, a bitch will act like it's all about you. But no, bitch, it ain't all about me. I'm motherfucking out here trying to get it. And for you to stay with me while I'm on the trying to get it stage is a difficult thing mm -hmm. because you got a pussy. You can go out here and find a nigga that'll do a lot of shit for you I can't do. Right. Yeah. And it's hard not to go get it because you ain't shit. 
To be honest, that's really, it, I could, we could come up with a whole bunch of shit to sound good. It's hard for you not to go take advantage of these offers that's coming your way because you ain't shit. You trying to be shit. You trying to be something good, but you're not going to last. <laughs> All these women that's attractive that I have fucked with on the come up, when I was coming up, could not hang in there. That's throw that shit in your face too. What about when they try to come <laughs> back? <laughs> that's what's that always happen. weird. Yeah, bitch, you tell me. Tell you. Like, bitch, I already know you didn't believe in me, bitch. Why are you calling? Why are you trying to come back and be serious? I fuck you, but why are you trying to act like uh, the transgression of disloyalty you committed didn't exist? Craig, you preaching, brother. Oh, God. You preaching, brother. They you all giving... come back. Oh, my God. Craig, come will you, you know what? God back. damn, this shit is so real with these little niggas are saying it here. Yeah. I mean, they ain't young like that, but I'm just saying, I'm so glad. Wisdom, don't they all, look, every, look. <laughs> Them bitches come back, dog, after they get destroyed. Yeah, that's real shit. After they find out it ain't sweet out there. They come back and expect the same slot back they had. Man. It's fucking amazing. Are you a fucking idiot? So I'm supposed to believe in you again, huh? <laughs> you went out there, got dicked down by the game, and now you come back to me. Now that ain't shit out there for you right now. But another situation just like you motherfucking got into. Didn't I tell you you wasn't shit, bitch? I'm doing you a favor by cuffing you and trying to vet you and make you into something. They might be cold, Corey. They saw the sweater and they want to come back. <laughs> Can't be mad at them for that. It's winter time. Can't be Corey, mad at them for that. Corey got coming that. for the warmth. Somebody <laughs> said after they get humbled in the game, because that's what most of them do. I'm talking about like, I'm not talking about. <clears throat> you know, sometimes your bitch come up. Sometimes. Sometimes your bitch come up. But I'm telling you, most of the time, your bitch is about to enter an Arctic atmosphere. It's just, <laughs> she don't believe it. Can't she sweater. think that it's about to be better. Shit, this thing is heavy. I swear. <laughs> a motherfucker throw that in your face. This year. Oh, it's so, it's, niggas like this want to fuck with me. And oh. I, you know, I, yeah, uh, motherfucker throw that ooh, shit in your face. Oh, that's terrible. I, I, I know, I go, it's me and that nigga want to fuck with me. Woo, woo, woo. Damn, hey, Marcus, that's you nice. reaching my heart. You this a Craig, a hey, nigga. <laughs> Do you know how hard I be laughing when bitches tell me about they motherfucking what can happen out here? Yeah. I done had bitches tell me I love you, but then said that shit before. Yeah. These niggas out here want me uh, on deck. I always, I love when girls say that to me because I always say, you a fool if you don't go get them niggas that want you. <laughs> you a fool. Fool if you fuck with me after saying that to me. Because yeah, I will no never forget no that. I swear to God. Yeah. That's And that's what I be like. You don't know, the, Wait, you know how disrespectful that is that to is say to me? Say, yeah, there's, no come, there's no almost no coming what? back from that. I don't view it as disrespect. If a bitch, you, I can fuck with a nigga that's more boss than you. Then, right. And, so, so what if she tell you she know of a nigga that got, that went, got wings that can fly? You gonna get mad at that too? No, it's I'm a just, fantasy, nigga. But I'm saying she it said, ain't real. Most of <laughs> the shit in a bitch's head is not real. <laughs> if a bitch told me, Corey, this nigga out here rich and he wanna give me a lot of money. I want to go get this money from this nigga. I, I can respect that. Right. I stay with her. Right. I, I, yeah. I stay with a bitch that tell me that. I go and get it. I'll be here. Yeah, get right. that money. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is what the whole say. But, but I got to, the bitch be like, I got to fuck him. No. Get that money. <laughs> you come from nothing. There's no wealth in your family. This is a chance <laughs> for you to find a way for your kids. This is a chance for you not to be out here hoping forever. You must get that nigga that's doing well. Oh if you would tell me about him, but if she tell you, if she tell you, like she's the way she explained it, like she's settling for you, then it's disrespectful. If you try to make it my fault, it's unforgivable. Right. What do you mean? If, that's what I'm, you have you, to explain it. So if you try to make the fact that your pussy is bored my fault, you know what I'm saying? That you that you just May, I, maybe I'm not. Like I'm, I'm holding you back. Like I'm holding you back. You could do better. If it's my fault when you leave, that's unforgivable. You can never be a, a trusted 
woman in my life. Mm -hmm. You could be somebody I have sex with, I go to dinner with, uh, I even hug you, tell you I love you, but I, I still got that dagger in my back pocket, Man. and if you make a wrong move, I might stab you in the back. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about you like that. If, if, if I feel like you try to make your, your selfish ways my fault. Right. Hey, Craig, I be so mad at bitches as they look at me with disgust when I tell them sort of what you said. I be telling bitches, fucking me and kicking it with me is better than being that nigga man. And they look at me being like what? it's foul. You said, say it again? Being who? I know, I didn't understand that either. Being in my presence comes with more benefits than being that nigga man. I mean, being being his woman. Yep, right. Being with that nigga right there. Right. That's it right there. Oh, did I That's say it right, right that time? That's My bad. That's it right there. I be there. and I don't be saying that just to be foul. I be right. telling them you can go nowhere with that nigga. That nigga proudly puts on his supervisor at Dunkin' Donuts outfit. <laughs> hey, man, uh, that's real shit. You hey. can't win with that nigga. Not it ain't about the donuts or the money. Yeah. It's about the knowledge. Bitch, I can set you straight if you listen to me. But they don't never give me that. They always come back to me and tell me, you was right. I be like, I know I was right, bitch. Yeah. Now you got to start over at the bottom in the slot with Thank the- you, Red lobster bitches, I fuck yeah. with, cause he definitely gonna put you in his bottom. Hey, I tell he, a, that bitch, that boss nigga is definitely gonna put yeah, you in his bottom. I tell a bitch in the heartbeat. Ain't gonna hey, lie to you. A minute of truth yeah. is worth more than a, than a lifetime of spoof. Man, these bitches like spoofs and sketches. Somebody and, say Corey hair crazy. <laughs> I know that's yeah. why I wore. He touched yeah. the. the no, nah, but that shit you saying, Craig, that's church, dog. Yeah, y'all niggas learning, dog. Y'all yeah. niggas learning, especially Marcus. Wait a minute, Craig, how old are you again? That's funny, Miss Lips. See, Craig, 40 That's now. Funny. He learning I like this. I hear, the, I hear the wisdom in his voice. At the wow, ain't no bitch going to be able to say shit to Craig. Man. Let me tell you why I know. Because the nigga working hard out here. And when you really are a person working hard and some bitch in your face with some hee 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 shit, you be like, you fucking whore. What do you think, I'm stupid? You think I'm stupid, don't you, bitch? Man. Bitch, you about to get fucking dropped off. You know what's crazy? I you ain't my friend you. for real, bitch. I just fuck you. You know what's crazy that I learned from you? You told me, and I, you say most niggas don't know how to pick a bitch. We don't. How to what? We don't know how to pick. We don't know how to pick a woman that that the type of woman that we really need. And and but I've been around a few women, and and, and when they are the type of woman you need, they present themselves the right way. Or it mm -hmm. might not be. But, or it might not be that you want it at that time either, though. Right, right. right. Well, maybe I didn't, I didn't have the vision to see it, but you know, I, there's a few women I know of that are just really like they're good women, and and I think a good woman is supposed to be of service. You're not supposed to be around a, a nigga trying to take. You're supposed to be trying to contribute. Well, let, me, let me ask you this, because it's important. You said that. You say a good woman is supposed to be of service. I agree. Is she supposed to think she your equal? No. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, no, no. Nah. That's what I'm talking about. These bitches think I'm crazy when they get, they keep talking. Then I say, but you not for that. Your job is to do this. Right. They do not want that. They right. want, they want to be equal and most times more than you. Right. Man, want you want you to show them I want to be seen. Uh, man, that, that shit. That, 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 that does not give you like a vibe <laughs> that they probably didn't really know you to begin with, like who they were actually dealing with. Explain that a little better, D. In other words, when you say, okay, like they should know a lot of things about you ahead of time. I mean, it's not like you're not known. So they didn't know what you, certain things that you talk about or that you're about or that you present. It ain't How that. It ain't that deep. It's just like when you first met me. What you told me, <laughs> you didn't even know me. No, but I just said. But I didn't hold it against you like that. I just said, eh, I've been hearing this and that about you. And then when you set me straight and you said blah 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 about who you were, I was like, oh, okay, I'll give him a chance. And you were, uh, you were a cool dude in person. You know what I'm saying? No, but I'm saying. But like, I had to, as a woman coming on that platform with you by ourselves. I had to. You don't think that I that that, that was necessary? Well, so if you, you would do that to me, why you don't do that to the hang with the homosexual guys to be rolling their eyes at you? How do you know? Because they have do that? done something to you. Right. But how do they you have know? put prejudice in your. In how your, do you know that I did not? You ain't said nothing to that man. You gonna make me say his name? 
Oh, stop. You, you ain't said nothing to that nigga. See, that's why, this is why I didn't tell him, and I don't tell him certain things, because this is what he does. But I didn't say the name. Not yet, but this is what he does. See how he even but got the reason you he even told, threatened. Okay. He even threatened me The right reason now. you told that's me his so name is because you was hurt. You said his name. You was like, you know what so and so did? I talked to him as a friend. And I was like, what do you do, dude? I talked to him as a friend <laughs> off air, and there he goes. We <laughs> talk off <laughs> air. D, woo, woo. it ain't, look, D. You know, woo, gonna tell you. I know. See, no, thank, what? thank God. It ain't God. no shame to the shit. No, yeah. there should be some shame. When somebody's telling you something in confidence, you don't just go out there and- I just, still ain't said the motherfucking fruit booty nigga name. Please don't. Is he? Your middle name is Nilly Willy. God damn. What is Nilly Willy nigga? All That's out like gold. Uh, Rudy Poo ass name. Oh, <laughs> hell no. Nilly <laughs> Deep man. No. Be Deep man for the wrong no, reason. No, the re you don't even know why I'm upset. The reason why I'm upset, I just said it. I said there's certain things, and I just told you like a week ago. I'm like, there's certain things you can't share with you because when you get all upset right away, he wants to just be like, black out. And I'll be like, oh! And I'll be like, oh! Hey, that's another, that auntie, well, that's please, another middle name. Don't share it with me. I don't. That's but want me to tell you why you shared it with me? You I, was hurt. Because they didn't accept you. Like no, that white bitch. And not only that, because you knew them well. And I was like, oh, I, I don't I was know them niggas well. Yeah, I see sure them do. niggas. I show them respect, but you mother fuck them. them niggas. <laughs> motherfucker, what? I wish a motherfucker would roll his eyes at me. I'll be like, did that nigga roll his eyes at me? I'll be like, what did I do to you? <laughs> but there's a reason why they didn't do it to you I and they it. do it to me. Right. Now that's the real shit you just said. But there's a reason why they don't do it to me, they do it to you. Because you're the dude and they're not, they're afraid. And it ain't they're just because I'm a dude. Yes, yes. Because there's exactly. some niggas out there that can't fight right. that to will do it fight. to a woman but won't do it to the dude. Right. It's, the same treatment. There's some niggas out there that can't no, fight that, that will like, fight. Marcus, what you trying to get out? Go get it out. An auntie. Right, me and you. Uh oh. Ain't uh, what? Miss Benita. Mommy and you. She's she's she. Ah! <laughs> 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 which which ain't is? Uh, my ain't sure. She ain't here no more. Uh, oh, she's bad. Rest in peace, Shirley. She's fast. You know what I'm talking about? If it's a secret, don't tell me because it ain't gonna be no secret no more. Uh, Just what she said. She said, said if it's a secret, secret, don't tell me because once you told me, it ain't no secret no more. But not even a secret. Just just off the you know. I think I'm good at keeping. Shit in that shouldn't be put out there. I mean, there's some shit that shouldn't be put out there. Yeah. I think I'm good at keeping that shit in, but I got a talk show. I talk shit. <laughs> I'm not Wendy Williams, but I'm saying, oh, goddamn. Well. D, you motherfucking mad because them motherfuckers, the, 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 the little fruit booty nigga well, that rolled his eyes. I was mad that week. It was Valentine's. And hey, that, I'm going to do it. Hey, this is oh, you blast. Remember when they this joined one. the show, like back oh. then. So it was this time. business, I, I, I'm kind of record. This is where you blast narcissist motherfuckers, man. Because these niggas be triangulating with misinformation on niggas' names. And sometimes when you got an audience, you got to say what it really is so niggas can't be out here tiptoeing, making shit up. Because niggas would be out here just sprinkling bullshit information that ain't real. And if my name is in it, I shit, nigga, step to the audience and well, be like, hey, nigga, this is what it really is. And look, mm. this is why I'm saying, like, we was talking about something before the show started. I am so heated about some shit I saw on the internet. And I'm trying <laughs> not to say a nigga name. Because if I say his name oh. again, I ain't going back on the shit no more. But I'm saying, Craig talk about the narcissist. Homie, I see shit all the time that I hold back off my show. Believe it or not, it's shit that I be like, I don't want to go there because I get mad at that nigga for real. Mm. I ain't mad at nobody. I don't right. give a fuck. The dope thing nigga, I ain't mad at that nigga. That nigga <laughs> sick. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sissy out here with titties and a <laughs> talking shit about me. I'm not mad at certain people because I know them people are not right. I see that. It's motherfuckers Ooh. out here who really are absolutely insane who be talking shit about me. And I be like, oh, that ain't worth doing. Yeah. That, that shit ain't, that, that nigga got... That nigga got some titties out. Yeah. Nigga, where I'm from, they'll kick you in your ass just for standing around like that. They'll be, who this nigga with? That's the first thing they gonna say, who this nigga with? Because <laughs> sometimes them weirdo niggas be kin folks to motherfuckers where people be like, you gotta leave him alone. Get that nigga pad. Man, we was in front of the motherfucking dime, a, a place out here where everybody kick it. 
I swear to God, I promise you, all over the country, listen to this. It was a man standing in front of the dime with his pants down, not sagging. He had his ass all the way out, and the front was pulled down where you see his pelvic and the hair and everything. And he was standing around. I'm telling you, homie, so, so. where I'm from, somebody would have kicked him in his ass this nigga was exposed so was he was he on some like trying was to be he by gangster himself? type shit no, or, no or he, he was, wasn't no he was he looked like he was insane oh, but wow. he was a booty boy from jail oh, you could okay. tell well, what i'm different. saying on these streets dog man motherfuckers is not playing with these niggas like that that's why i don't play with them niggas like that i'm not finna go back and forth with no nigga who out here like that because I know what's gonna happen to him. It's like arguing with a cartoon, nigga. Right. Get it's like, it. nigga, <laughs> right. you want what some- What you say, Daffy Duck? Like this. <laughs> nigga, you want real. some attention yeah. from me, nigga? You ain't finna get that type of attention. Uh, no, you gonna get here. some other type of attention, this trust me. The whole world is just, God. You God. can't, man, one of the most disrespectful things in the mm. world is the motherfucker arguing with me and he got on some lipstick and a dress and got some titty done. <laughs> now that shit, I will not argue with you. I'm just gonna motherfucking make some shit happen. Yeah. Be like, man, make sure that nigga understand that we don't do that. Yeah. We don't do the masculinity shit. We don't do that. You could be a nigga who motherfucking, God damn it, just broke in my house and I'll argue with you. But <laughs> I'm saying, a nigga out here like that, homie, that ain't nothing to play with. You insane, you will get hurt. You'll get hurt, not by me, but I'm just saying the world, smile with you people like that. People scared to talk about you because of the ramifications that's happening. But I don't give a fuck about that. You can't step to me like that and expect me to be like, hold on, man, uh, back and forth with whatever. And motherfuckers be bringing up how I had the homie flame on the show, right? Right, right, right. Hey man, I ain't gonna lie, man. I could be a hypocrite for some of the shit I do in the world because fame and paid dues in the game where I'm like, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna even lie. And that don't make it where what I'm saying is right, but I'm saying flame ain't talking disrespectfully to me because we understand it's a very thin line with this respect shit. And to earn respect, it's not an easy thing at all. But I'm saying all you motherfucking booty boys out there and all that shit, homie, I'm not gonna argue with you up close. I'm not. Right. I know how y'all motherfuckers act when y'all really motherfucking in a situation. <laughs> when it go down, they be like, get off me, nigga, please. <laughs> I already know, nigga, so don't play with me. I don't give a fuck about you. I'm talking about I don't give a fuck about you. No way. If you getting down like that, nigga. Horrible sight, nigga. Right, no, but I'm not finna do nothing. <laughs> right. Bitch, I ain't nigga. Right. <laughs> them, them niggas turn to who they really are when it get real. <laughs> I ain't, man, All they, that fucking pretend. It was a motherfucker that could, that, that, that could throw hands, got that be a little rock boy. That it's nigga. a man, ain't it? Yeah. I that know nigga. a lot, man, some of the greatest. That nigga can fight. Hey, man, some oh, of the greatest heels boxes. On, that nigga was. The greatest oh, boxers in the history of the world was gay. That nigga had heels on for fighting. That nigga Sugar was beating his ass with heels. I was like, what the fuck is going Some on? Some of the greatest boxers gay. Sugar Ray Leonard. Why you think his name's Sugar Ray? Oh. Yeah, because he was. <laughs> Sugar Gay Leonard. <Lump. laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna fight Sugar Ray, but that's, yeah. That nigga named that Sugar. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> it's a lot of them. Yeah, you just yeah. don't want a motherfucker to have no boxer mad at you. Hell no. Shit, motherfuckers who know how to box is lethal. A nigga who really know how to box, you hey. gotta be a bad motherfucker to whoop his ass because that nigga know how to swing having and know a, how to make you miss. Having yeah. a woman around you that's not in pocket as a man is a gay tendency. Damn. Damn, Craig, why you fucking him up like that, man? Yeah, I, you know, at the end of the day. Somebody said De La Hoya. Yeah, that motherfucking dress he had on, ain't no coming back from that. Not to no real nigga. But you said that you said around. Now what yeah. if what if a guy has 
women that are out of pocket not with them but they out of pocket out there like in other words they ain't got their shit straight that's what i'm saying so it's the same thing you don't have your hoes in check i mean no you got your hoes in check when they with you a bitch that do motherfucking renegade shit behind your back you can't do nothing about that because a bitch gonna be a bitch but i'm saying what craig said if i heard him right right matter of fact can you repeat it i said as a man having a woman around you that's out of pocket is a gay tendency I agree. Okay. I'm talking about, but do you mean in your in like when you in presence in the street, or just if you fuck with a bitch that's out of pocket? Well, we'll give we'll say fuck with a bitch. You know what I'm saying? But I, I in my personal opinion, it's all the way around because you're submitting to something exactly. lesser than you. You're, you're, you're le- letting it happen. Yeah, you're lessening you're yourself it. as a man, and you're lowering your standard to 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 appease a bitch. But so see, if you if you lower your standard to appease a bitch, that means you're less than a bitch. But see, some I, bitches- I, I, I agree with that. And I ain't gonna lie, I had out of pocket bitches around me. I actually am, that's just an evil part of me, man. Right. I like when they break down and get frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> when it don't go the way they want it to go. Right. It's really a very interesting process to me to see a bitch be around me and think that her insincere fake smiles is gonna work. I love it when they really snap and and, and just go off on me. Right. Cause right. I'll be like, ha ha, ha ha. You thought you had me, didn't you bitch? Bitch, you are you and I am me. I see who you are, you see who I am. You motherfucking play me like that, be down bitch. I'm using you for what you worth anyway. Your pussy. Right. What is you worth besides your pussy if you come from poverty? Nothing. <laughs> that shit hurt. I know it hurt. I know a lot of bitches out there ain't gonna like that. But can you answer the question? What are you worth if you come from poverty besides your pussy? That's really what niggas should be asking bitches when they first meet them. That should be the first question you ask a woman. What are you worth besides your pussy if you come from poverty? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's real shit. It's just it sounds too insulting. Right. And most of the time in the long run, you find out that bitch wasn't, 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 wasn't worth nothing but that pussy. Mm-hmm. That's all I really got up out the bitch. Begging ass bitch. <laughs> pussy and stress. Pussy and stress. stress. Stressful pussy. Marcus <laughs> is a happy-go-lucky nigga, boy. Marcus be in front of the club, having a good time with his motherfucking zoot suits <laughs> on and shit. <laughs> He keep a nigga shorter than him with him so he don't look as bad in the suit. Marcus don't holler at bitches, he dance at them. You know That's his game. He, he walk up to bitches. <laughs> Wanna watch me bust my pants, bitch? And then Corey got a dick apartment sweater on. <laughs> you know what? I wish I would <laughs> What kind of appointment? A oh. dick appointment sweater. A dick appointment? What the fuck? I'm here. Oh, <laughs> you're going to act like you don't hear me at the door? <laughs> I better leave my sweat alone before I have D look up the tag and she'll tell you what it's worth. Oh. I knew I shouldn't have wore it today. They said I made it. They said I knitted that for you. <laughs> I knitted that for you. <laughs> Yo, anyway, Corey oh. Sweater, raise your banking skills. Anyway, I, I couldn't read it. Corey Sweater, raise your banking skills by 20 points. Sweater, raise your what, what? I don't get it. Uh, hey, we should start a bank, banking. Corey. We should start our own bank. Uh, Boy, I be robbing the shit out of them niggas. You know, they got, <laughs> you know they, they got these these oh, life insurance oh, policies oh. that you could borrow on when you pay on them for a certain amount of time. Damn. If you get like the right amount of people, you can create a trust on that and lend people money on these policies. So if you got like six, seven niggas that all got a life insurance policy that you can borrow on and they all like a million dollar policy, yeah. you can loan a nigga the money to buy a house and they can pay you back. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you, you can create your own bank with, with, with life insurance policies. Yeah. Man, listen what I'm telling y'all, man. This motherfucker be coming up with all that shit. This is a California nigga right here. Break back. <laughs> this nigga got all the motherfucking game. Hell yeah. For real though, man, I've been hanging with a few NBA niggas and that's what they be doing. Like the real smart ones, they take their money and leverage it that way, you know? I, I want to say this before we forget this part. Also, when we get into it with niggas on our platforms, 
especially niggas that are that are that are that are useless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about it's some niggas they yeah. just don't. You ain't got no come up out here, nigga. Right. This nigga Squancho said this today when I was talking to him on the phone. That motherfucker said, when you be into it with them niggas, they still in your brand. Mm. Mm. When you mention them niggas, you helping them niggas in a way right. where they coming up off your mentions. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I never say no nigga in a dress or no shit. I never say your yeah, name, you nigga. If you don't that. get your pussy yeah. ass the fuck up out of here, nigga. Yeah. Get your mark ass out of here, nigga. Stop, folks. Somebody make you stop. God be looking out for me. But I'm saying, like, as we argue with certain niggas, just remember, you got to think about who you arguing with. Yeah. Them niggas is trying to steal your brand. Right. Even though my brand is different. All you hoe ass niggas, I'm telling you, man, my people ain't going to come fuck with you. I'm not saying I'm speaking for them in that way. I'm just saying, like, the worst thing for a motherfucker who I'm into it with or a motherfucker, it ain't into it with, I didn't mean to say that. It's very judgmental. I have like a, a, a audience that doesn't have the patience for waiting for you to get to what you gotta get to, right. if you see what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers who come see me, they really, it's hard. They be ready, they be ready, they need it right away. Like, a motherfucker who ain't got it like that, where they can just come with the magic, well, whatever you do, my audience, they might see what the fuck you doing, but they ain't gonna fuck with you. I'm just saying, they ain't, they ain't gonna fuck with you. I know it. Cause I watched some niggas numbers do this for a little while, and then it went right back to where the fuck it was. To nothing. To nothing. Motherfuckers ain't on shit. And they are in the community with them niggas. They the schmooze, they little tough ass, wanna be tough ass in the community with them niggas. And you still ain't got nobody listening to you, nigga? Hmm. Ain't you on a TV show, Nick? That's why they gotta show you shows and little bits. And <laughs> Ain't nobody listening to you, dog. One thing about this internet that's humbling, your numbers is right there. That shit humbling. Motherfucker talk that shit. Who watching you, nigga? Who are you talking to? 300 niggas that's just high and don't know they could change the channel? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> nigga, if you don't shut the fuck, how many motherfuckers in the chat room? That's a low night, 8,000 something. That's a low night for us, dog. Stop! Y'all motherfuckers reaching that, y'all motherfuckers throwing rocks at an airplane trying to motherfucking get into it with me. <laughs> All you motherfuckers, stop. Stop. Anyway, um, we need more people in the chat room. What we gotta do? Hit that like button. Marcus, show your arm pitch right now. <laughs> That's good, nigga. Is it? No. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, good. I saw it, nigga. Yeah, good. You got that motherfucking vest on as a motherfucking shield. I'm good, nigga. Shield. I'm good. So it don't show this part right here. Where oh. it is. <laughs> so you telling me his arms weren't wet right there, D? I didn't see it. You? How you can't see it? it them glasses, look, bro? Now it look like shadow. Put them glasses in a USB charger right now. Look at that nigga trying not to show it. Don't worry about it, Mark. He's not. Mark his arms wet. People start watching. I don't think. <laughs> you Aquaman. <laughs> you awkward man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like that. I, I like that. Awkward man. Awkward man. That's cold. <laughs> I like that. Awkward man. Corey Holcomb in the Awkward, awkward Man awkward. podcast. Oh, oh. Awkward. He said I'm awkward. <laughs> That's funny. I'd say your you boy. sightless girl. Shut up. Mm -hmm. You need glasses. I'm trying to tell That's you. That's okay, goddamn. Mm -hmm. I bet you had more car accidents than me. Excuse me? Excuse me? No. No car accident, no tickets. Knock on wood. You ain't you? had no car accident. Or no tickets. No. What you gonna call? Are you gonna are you gonna bring up that that thing that was in the back of that truck? That was not me that did I don't that. even know what you're talking about, dude. Oh, okay, because I was gonna say no. That that one last thing that happened. What you talking about? That that thing that that homemade thing that that guy had on back of his truck. Remember, I told you about this too. Two well, months somebody ago. else did something. Somebody else did something to you. And my car was parked, and they did yes. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say that. I was like, no, that I didn't do Your anything. Your car was parked. Yeah. Well, you parked in the wrong space. 
No, I was already parked. That guy was new. He swear up and down. Oh Somebody doing something to her. If you wouldn't park there, it wouldn't happen, right? Oh, brother. <laughs> God. Corey dressed like a 50 year old black lady in Bible it's study. <laughs> Fuck you, I don't play game. It's the sweater doing it to him tonight. <laughs> It's this right. sweater is sexy, nigga. Oh. <laughs> it's just got damn it. This definitely a motherfucking December sweater. And they got mothballs in the pocket. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so I guess we gonna go on, get to the month. Marcus, sometimes you be talking about shit for the show. I don't wanna no, X out me, some of the shit. Correct. Some of the shit you be saying during the show is all good. You you good? Or I let D saying? take it over? Oh. The sucker shit. Oh, shit, we were talking, we were talking about earlier. What? You said something. Uh -huh. What? Nothing. God, no shit. I don't, let, let D go. I don't, I don't remember what it was. Gooch got his package, D. Oh, good. He said oh, wait. thanks. He got I said Gooch today? at the, uh, Go Gooch the big light skinned nigga, right? I hope he got it Saturday. Big light skinned nigga. He said he was it's supposed a big, to It's an older light skinned nigga from New he York. He like Manny Fresh. Okay, nah, this nigga like a big nigga. He like, like a fresh, like an ex NFL <laughs> lineman. But I seen him at a fifty one fifty show. Oh yeah. I always forget his. I seen him at the Wu Tang concert lineman. with his son. Oh. He like one of your diehard fans. I just can't remember his name. Glasses. Bigger nigga from like Bro Brooklyn, but he live out here. I don't remember. Oh his yeah. Name. yeah. Hmm. If I yeah, anyway, much respect to all the motherfucking homies out there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we about to blow out the show like I did my hair. Um, <laughs> Mark, did you see that? Yeah, I see that. Uh -huh. Never had it. Uh, <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> that nigga like, you remember yeah, we used to get the hair pressed? What yeah. this is Straighten the comb? Straighten the comb. Straighten the comb to your head today. This is the part of the show that is okay, sponsorless. What we are about to observe, D, read. It is called These Loose Talk, Talk About, about Bullshit. bullshit. Right now, thank you so much. Uh, well, new movie to check out if you're willing to or want to, uh, Black Adam. Of course, that's the movie starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It releases uh, in theaters this Friday, October 21st, of course, with late shows starting um, midnight on Thursday. Um, and The Rock is doing the promotion for it, of course. And he put out a throwback on his Instagram and I didn't know it was that long ago, like 15, is it 15 years ago? 15 years ago when he first presented the movie and wanted to get it done. Like he was signing the contract. So he put the post out of him signing the contract and he looked so young. Oh, it was 15, how, how long ago? It was 15 years ago, he said. So he, if you look on his Instagram, he's so young looking. But anyway, he um, said that it took all this time to, to get it out. I actually just want to go see it for uh, the, the other guy. What's that other fella's name? Ooh. I didn't even know he was in it. He plays Hawkman. Whew. Anyway, I'll be there. I'll be there. You got a ponytail? No. Aldous Hodge. Oh, that's my current crush. Oh, my God. Aldous Hodge? Ooh. What the hell he play? A lot of things. Is That's it? him right there. Where is he? Oh. Mm, he Ooh. plays Hawkman. That's what he played in. Uh... Damn what he played in. Mm. That motherfucker played in the NWA movie. He was, he was MC Ren. <laughs> yes, oh. he was in there too. Yes. He was a slave yes. Oh, yeah, he that, played, he had that TV show where he was a slave. Yeah, with the We's gonna get some water. And out there. he was in One Night in Miami. Oh, the Invisible Man is the one I like that he was in. The Invisible Man with the with the it was just like the two of them. Underground, that was the name of it. There it is. D I hope you meet him one day so you can find out how the game go. Oh no, <laughs> I would just be I'm just, I would I'm just a fan, but I'm saying he's also a crush, so. Anywho, mm, I'll go see it just for that. Um, Draymond Green, you know, if you hadn't seen the fight or the punch yet, he got in a fight um, with Poole, and he just came out to say. Aaron Taylor, thanks for the $20. He, he just came out to say uh, in the news, because he's been kind of off deck since it happened, and he was like, because they're asking him, you know. They're, they're, Somebody say Marcus looks like a mosquito catcher. <laughs> what? That's silly. <laughs> Hang a little bit. <laughs> Stupid. But um, <laughs> Craig got a mosquito snout. Oh, <laughs> anyway, so Draymond it, has come out to say uh, he's just playing it cool. He's like, oh, I'm not tripping. Because they were like, oh, it started this whole ruckus. And online people are kind of giving their own take about it. 
And he was like, I don't even know, because I've just been off deck chilling with my family, so it doesn't phase me. So he's basically just kind of, kind of just shunning it off, like, eh, it's nothing. So, um, and also, didn't they just extend, they just extended uh, uh -oh, Jordan Poole's uh, contract, I think, today. What so, uh, I think they just extended Jordan Poole's um, contract. Hold on. So that might put a little uh, inside. But he, but um, I think he apologized. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, <laughs> just like who? Oh, no. that just came out. No, oh, wow. no, no, D. I wanted to expand on that Draymond sure. Green shit because mm -hmm. it's like uh, it needs to be said. Dray Draymond Green, man. Um, Doesn't he have a reputation or as, as, as sorry, I, I thought I, I thought I had seen that a, a few times that it's, people were saying that. I heard Draymond Green is under consideration to be one of the announcers on maybe like a TNT or something like oh. that after he retires or whatever. Like he got it like that because I heard he does well on his podcast. Really? Oh, okay. That Draymond would make sense. That's what I heard. Hmm. Nigga stole a show from me. Fuck him. Did he? What? Yeah, my Domino show, man. I had a Domino. He stole it? I mean, it probably wasn't him. It probably was the producers, <laughs> but I had a show I produced with a bunch of people playing Domino's, which I don't own Domino's, but my format, they basically had Draymond Green be me, and they had NBA players and WNBA players be the cat, like, you know, basically mm -hmm. the, the players. How, yeah. My same exact format stole that shit, man. Well, do you already have it all? Do you have that? Yeah, I play it during my podcast or I play it on YouTube and stuff like that, you know? Mm. I don't like to hear shit like that. Mm. Yeah, they got but me. One thing that we really must acknowledge, man. They don't like to hear shit. Can you imagine Draymond Green being in practice as one of the ugliest guys on the team? Nobody says this. Can you imagine he ha he's had to tolerate the, the two shooters and the hoes wanting them. And now it's another light skinned nigga getting money and publicity and doing well on the team. Oh, yeah. I know Draymond is hurt by all in. Oh, my I don't know God. why you act like a dark skinned nigga don't be out here getting them bitches like that, man. I ain't said that. I said the red niggas that he has to play with is really starting to add up in his face. That's what I think. <laughs> it's like, no matter what, Draymond, like, look at that picture, Draymond. God, what is that a, what is, is he got his face wide? What is that on the side of his face? Sweat. That's monkey me. Like, like his hair. He like can, 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 can a nigga get some hair? <laughs> he got hair all the way up to his eye. Anyway, he's not a handsome guy. Oh. Draymond, yeah. Draymond ugly. <clears throat> and when you ugly, you gonna pick fights. That's just how you do. When you ugly, no matter how much money you got, you gonna be ready to fight people if you look like that. Yeah. <laughs> so we need to pray for brother Draymond. I know he regrets running yeah. Kevin away from the team. I mean, what's the boy he ran away? Uh, Kevin Durant. Kevin yeah. Durant, Draymond, you had a chance to have somebody who was more irregular than you on the squad, <laughs> and you ran him away. Yeah. I'm not talking bad about we are he Durant, but Durant's hair, because Durant ain't as ugly as you, but his hair make a bitch choose you before they choose him. <laughs> Does that, I don't know if that's fair to say, but like Draymond, you, yeah. Draymond yeah. look like he grew up in Babylon. He can wear a hat, hat's easy, he can cover with a hat. Man, he like he moved hat. to Gotham City for hey, man, a better life. Arlene say you can wear hats. You can't wear hats to bed. <laughs> man, you, you can, if you, when you dodge skin, you can be medium ugly and get all the bitches. Yeah. Marcus, don't, don't take offense to me calling Draymond ugly because y'all the same color. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, Draymond, I know he is hurting because he feels like he part of the big three. 
and he's not. Right. That nigga and, look oh, like that's he, really what it he's, is. He's Zazel's like, grandson. You know who he's Zazel is? Wait, what? He's Zazel. He's Zazel's the coldest demon in the Bible. He's like the demon oh of all demons. Oh, my God. You didn't call him a demon. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Beelzebub. Yeah. Who Zazel else? Is, What's the Be- other name? Beelzebub. I think his name is. Beelzebub. Beelzebub. There's a nigga named Beelzebub? Yeah, yeah. Beelzebub. Yeah. The other name's terrible. Hell no. Nah, yeah. I ain't never knew yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> what's another what's another name? D you read the Bible? Yeah. You never yeah, read no goddamn know. Bible. I did all my sacraments though as a Catholic, but only because I had like he hustled <laughs> illegal surgeries. <laughs> Draymond. <laughs> oh, we we'll get you exactly. a new face, I promise you. This- <laughs> so that's where they got that shit off X Men when he be like, Is Azel? Backyard full of man, real faces. <laughs> Damn, there's some cold names in the Bible. Hey, Hold on. He's Azazel, and what was the other one? Beelzebub. Beelzebub. Oh, that's yeah, awful. Yeah. Boy, I know this is the ugly bitch I fuck with. I'm about to call yeah. her Beelzebub. <laughs> Beelzebub, bring your ass over here. That's awful. Damn, it's, a, it's somebody named Beelzebub. <laughs> oh, that nigga look like he got dirt in his bank account. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Back of got rusted. <laughs> and like Draymond, hey. like when he come, <laughs> his, 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 his awful features ain't as yeah. when out. But gone. whenever he do this, you be like, ah. Oh, when he try hard, he get uglier. <laughs> come on. You mentioned his cry face? Right. Yeah, Ooh, his cry face? Really? Oh, shit. D snuck one in on you, Draymond. I'm happy oh, now. St- yeah. His cry face ain't shit though. Especially when little ugly kids cry, don't nobody people just be like, stop! They don't even ask him what's wrong. Nobody asks him what's wrong. You better shut up. That's that ugly kid shit when, when ugly kids cry. Shut your black ass up. Right? Oh, you goddamn man. <laughs> so, so can you imagine what he been through? You must Understand, oh, man. Oh, we don't know what he went got, through. Uh, all that. He... Somebody said they cuz named Taterbug. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, what the fuck? Where y'all get these what? names hey, from, yeah, man? I, I, I know the nigga named Taterbug. You from uh, Arkansas, uh, nigga? Ain't nobody shocked. Uh, that nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a <laughs> felony. Look at look, right. Look at him on the red carpet. No, that's that's as best that. as he can look. Yeah, that's no. a felony uh, smile right there, nigga. Why uh, did he wear that? That nigga shorts? went to jail for being nice. Like, oh, this something ain't right. right. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta take this nigga in. He's smiling. Cops don't money. even when they pull. They don't say, "Get your black ass out the car." They be like, "Get your monkey ass out the <laughs> oh. car." That's fucked up. It you is. got that primate look to you like oh that. My God. I mean, we all got it a little bit, but goddamn, oh, that's yeah. a bad <laughs> Yeah, that nigga. Oh, he looked like one of them niggas that uh, go into the Jesus. restaurant you guys and, it easy. and now finish be niggas' mad. food now for him. He, he, he looks like right. he just a, God bless his heart. That nigga got to do shy brother, shy brother, and he a millionaire. <laughs> go over there and get it for me. Man. My homeboy over there, he real nice, though. <laughs> you got to put a disclaimer by him so as you speak on him. That, good, that good brother right there. Yeah, that good brother. Oh, good Christian brother. Stealing on Good motherfuckers, God, and y'all motherfuckers supposed to be trying to get money and win a championship, and you stealing on motherfuckers. You walk right up on that man because you knew that you had the advantage. You Will Smith, that man. Yeah, that was some whole shit. shit. He pushed him, didn't he? He, nah, pushed, he pushed him pushed off him, like, get up off me, nigga. And then, old boy, ah, that sneak, that sneak still. Not cool. Man, if a nigga pushed me, I'm punching his ass. No, you not, nigga. Hell no. Nah. It depends like on Marcus. I said no, you're not right away. But I'm just saying this is what I meant to say when I said that. Mm. It depends on the situation always. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Least, if a nigga a push you that you love, they're at work. If a nigga push you, you at work with, it's certain things that make you hesitate. That man know that he married somebody and the baby still look like him. I yeah. would be mad too. <laughs> yeah. I saw him holding his baby. I was like, God. Damn it, uh, motherfucker! You saying the baby look like Dreamer? Yeah, the babies uh, look like him. They cry deep <laughs> voices. <They're>, uh, <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, look, Every look at that lady. Crazy, she yeah. couldn't say them strong slave baby jeans. <laughs> yeah, no. I get, it's hard to see them. Every time that nigga go outside, a bat land on the shoulder. <laughs> 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 whenever, hey, whenever he do this, a crow just come on his wrist. <laughs> 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 oh, she's pretty. 
Right, that's yes. how NBA, yes. NBA <laughs> players, NBA players that always. Got life, boy. That's what I'm saying. Come. NBA. I'm about to tell you, nigga. Uh, if you got that paper, ugly, your nigga. bitch look like that, man. <laughs> Why motherfuckers don't be saying you, that? But look, Listen, he looks man. great right there. I think, like you said, when he gets a mean face, it's just it's not. Listen, man, you dark skin, man. You know when you medium ugly up, we get them bitches, man. Dog. Bitches, man. He don't look man, bad. I'm at all. you, Mark. Yeah, medium ugly up, don't get them bitches. We guy. we the cream of the crop, yeah. right? Everybody now. get bitches. The red niggas, the dog <laughs> niggas, the bitches are just out here. God made sure He gonna tempt you with all yeah. these bitches out here. That's why He put them out here. You try to be a righteous yeah. nigga, but He got a thousand bitches yeah. out here yeah. in your face and you gonna fuck them because no matter how narcissists or sexist they are they fuck niggas <laughs> so it ain't nothing to brag on pussy ain't nothing to brag on no more we all fucking hoes respect it's too easy yeah. have you ever told a bitch i am disappointed by how quickly i fucked you yeah. it is the most rejuvenating feeling in the world to watch them respond to that Bitch, I just met you and I'm in your ass right now. Oh my God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That shit is all. <laughs> oh. It's always a pause. It's never a, a good comeback. They always be like, well, you think of something. All you got to do, bitch, you know I'm up in I that ass. As quick as you met me, bitch. You ain't got nothing going for you, bitch. I'm up in that ass. Yeah. In college, uh, Draymond's green major was evil. <laughs> not nice. Don't egg him on, Naeel. Mojo Jojo. <laughs> what you say, Mark? Mojo Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> not nice. Poor guy. He I don't even like, know what that oh, means. Yeah. They look great. Oh, like Powerpuff that. Girls. That little, little monkey. That little monkey. They used to, they used to be on the Powerpuff Girls. Mojo Jojo. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Shit. Shit. <laughs> somebody, somebody, go back, go back down a little bit. Somebody say, without money. It say, what? without money, Draymond Green wife would be reptilian. reptilian. Yeah. That's right. Just imagine Draymond getting yeah. off work at UPS. She, what yeah. his bitch gonna look like? Yeah, yeah. That's right. That Draymond, do me get over here and help take care of these kids. Blah, blah, blah. She had to get a rabies shot to fuck Awful. that nigga. <laughs> she had to get a rabies <laughs> shot to fuck that nigga. All right, moving on to some more. Without money, Mark, uh, without money, Dre, my wife, would be like, Thomas! Remember that lady on Tom and Jerry, that Look cartoon? That nigga got rabies, man. Oh, oh, stop. Fuck wrong with that nigga. That's his playing face. That's that. <laughs> That's how he looked when he found out they was going to get Jordan pulled that paper. <laughs> That's his man. Jeez. Yeah. All right, moving on. Uh, more basketball yeah, stuff, okay. I guess. Yeah, 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 this is connected. Uh, anyway, I love that Reebok's such a fan, as they've said of Allen Iverson, that they want to keep his legacy alive by honoring his 1996 NBA draft class with a new Reebok collab. <laughs> and they will be releasing uh, this, is it next weekend? October 22nd. The the exclusive is October 21st, but the 22nd is to the public. What's the name of his new shoes? The new shoes are the Question Mids. They drop nationwide again, like I said. Oh, I'll buy them gay looking shoes. They'll run $170, and if you don't like the bright colors, then <laughs> I of know course. You cool. <laughs> what them fruit booty shoes? Yeah. That's 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 part. Of it. Look, Allen Iverson. You, got a, you actually got a sweater so that go with that. That was another one. Back in the day, he was one of my. Hey, I need too. that paper. So no, he, listen, I'm about he to say motherfucking something. okay with that design. Now he, listen. That's what happened when the, when the money get low. Oh, no, know. here's the thing. Put now, the foot in, booty interesting, design. Interesting. He, interesting. He just said that because along with this new shoe, a lot of other um, news outlets are kind of covering. Something that uh, that happened um, many years ago when he re when he signed the original re um, exclusive contract with them. So, like I said, um, back in June of this year, details of his deal were made public. So, a lot of folks don't know this, but when he signed with Reebok in 2001, they said it was one of the most interesting deals signed with the unique stipulation that he agreed. He went back and made this change. Um, it's meant to last his lifetime. So rather than agree to an outrageously large upfront one-time amount or a higher yearly payout like most people do in these deals, he decided, Iverson decided to break his contract up and spread it throughout his lifetime with 800,000 every year 
Um, and of course he had problems because he's saying that it, his lifestyle, he didn't know how to adjust, but it, he gets 800,000 every year, making up to date Reebok's payments a total to date of 16 million and since, since he signed, but at his 55th birthday in 2030, he'll receive a one payment of 35 million. That ain't gonna and be shit then. But they, got him. they got him. They got him. They got him. Well, and it said it's been building up in his trust. So yeah. I don't know. He, he, they said that he went back and changed that up. So it goes to his trust. He didn't go, but I don't like when motherfuckers put out shit like that, man. That man ain't finna do what's not best for him. He gonna do what's best for him. <laughs> At the time, I guess, yeah. When them motherfuckers don't give you the big money up front, they got you. Yeah, because what is right. it crazy? Deshaun like, Watson. What LeBron got. No matter what them hoes said about him. That motherfucker got that WAP up front. Yeah. What they, what they call Whenever they say, Wiggy's dead by me when you're 55 years old. What the fuck? So when I can't fuck old like I won't do no more. By the time you're 35, I mean 55, boy, you all fumes if you ain't motherfucking eating right. Mm-hmm. And by the time you're 55, mm-hmm. your dick working off shortage. You know I should be. Uh, well, how old is he now? I didn't even look. If at you eating an American know. diet and drinking, which you is what I'm saying, AI, hey, you know what's up, G. I ain't He's disrespecting you. He's still so you. cute. He's still so handsome. If man. you are drinking, by the time you're 55, you're a millionaire with a dick that's barely working. I don't think so. So he got 16 million. So uh, far, ever so since far, then they're going to give him 35 in a long It's song. amazing to yeah. think that he only got $16 million for that shoe so far. When that shoe, motherfuckers still oh, buy that, that shoe. Came, yeah. Man, that's a classic. Yeah, it is a classic. That's probably, right. it's only second to yeah, maybe They only did George. Like, give me the $35 million up front, then get the yeah. fuck away from me. Uh-huh. Yeah. But they still giving him 35 all right? When he turns 55. They said when he turned 55. Oh, they know, know his drinking problem. 800 They know what yeah. they doing. Them some dirty motherfuckers. Look, it sounds like I'm being bold. But in a sense, isn't that weird just to think that maybe in an odd way it might even be a little safer for him? Because like you just said, his What do you mean it's problem. safer for him? But what if you get, when you had, drink, what if he had all that money 55 and then, is fortunate. How old there is you it? go. Say it again, Phil. Yeah, he's spending hey, That's what I was kind of How thinking, old is he? too. Shit, he ain't that old. That. I was kind of thinking that. He probably hey, in his like 46, 45. Exactly. If you want to say 46, 45, I'm saying, dog. Yeah, he graduated Reebok some dirty motherfuckers, man. They should have gave that man his money up front. Yeah, I agree. Not 35 when you 35 million well, when you 55. Choice, that's what he, they said. They, he said that's, that he actually broke Why up. you think they put that out there? You they said, he oh, he said, said do this. He's 47. I know what you're saying, I but they saying, yeah. he said do this. He didn't want, he, man, do you think that man didn't want that 35 million motherfucking dollars up front? Yeah. That, was cute. that is another one of my crushes too. Let me tell you something, man. Them shoes that's sell. Now they got the fruit booty that's colors that's out right. here. Right. Maybe not that's All them motherfuckers who mad at D gonna buy them shoes. Right. What? It's the fruit booty colors. I buy it anyway. Just show support. Mm-hmm. I didn't was. I didn't even know one day I had on some of that um, fruit booty shit. Yeah, nigga, you always wear some fruit booty shit. Uh. Like you had that choker <laughs> last week. Uh, if a nigga arm is always wet, <laughs> that like means you excited about sex. Oh, <laughs> Lord. They know high blood pressure. Got them. It's just like bitches get wet, your arms get wet. <laughs> and what, I know what's it. What's called? Reebok Unos? <laughs> Those? Yeah. They don't know what they call. I did. I just, but I just left they the page. They didn't put that in the article. Yes, mm-hmm. they did. <laughs> <laughs> They're called the question mids. Question mids. Mm-hmm. They should call them the drink mm-hmm. champs. Questionable. <laughs> Speaking of drink champs, last thing I just want to mention because they did just announce that uh, here it is. Oh, uh, George Floyd's daughter is appears that she is gonna press a lawsuit. So if you guys hadn't heard the thing about uh, they were on Drink Champs, Kanye was on there talking a whole lot more mess than he's been. Come doing. on, let's put it out there. Let's mm. put it out there, That's D. You gotta, under, you gotta let the people understand what happened. All right, well, he, he was on Drink Champs um, saying a lot of outrageous stuff, and then they got sweated, and so Noriega just went on yesterday on The Breakfast Club, and... Uh, D, what you not talking about with that? I'm not trying well, to cut you wanna, off. Oh, I didn't want to elaborate you, on a lot of the stuff. I didn't okay. even take the notes on okay. that, because I didn't, wasn't gonna... I wasn't well, since gonna, we put it out there, we gonna talk about it. You sure? 
But anyway, we, we put so Nas show in jeopardy by talking about it. Why? Because the gangsters I'm of the world. Saying, but I'm not saying what he was saying. I'm not repeating what Kanye said. Right, like, that's I, what I'm saying. But I you, actually want to bring it up only because I had to say that his daughter. They, I hate you brought it up, but I'm 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 finna take the shit on. I ain't finna hide from it. The anyway. gangsters, the gangsters of the world are at them people now. He ain't gonna win that one. He ain't gonna win that one. Yeah. Them gangsters made my nigga Nick Cannon apologize for telling the truth. Now you know you a gangster if a motherfucker tell the truth and they make you apologize for oh, it. Excuse me. That's gangster shit. You know you a gangster when you tell a nigga, because we talked about it before the show, you's a gangster when you tell a nigga, get your money out my bank. Whoever saw that coming? I never heard of no shit like that. You a gangster when you could tell a nigga, get your money off my bank, out my bank because of what you said. Mm. If you own the bank, you could do the same thing. You don't know nothing about owning no bank with we that about Freddy Krueger, St. Patrick's Day outfit you got on. But they to told that nigga to come get three billion. Take this shit. Right. Nigga, that's yeah. a... We don't even want nothing. We, we don't, don't want, want three we don't want billion? Anything. Hey, man, listen to what I'm saying. That motherfucker said, nigga, we don't care how many sneakers you sold to the suckers. <laughs> Come get this motherfucking bread out before we put it out front and show you ain't nothing gonna happen to us for it. That's them, what you I up told against. Them send him a check, nigga, if you don't come get it in a certain amount of time, too. Anyway, George Floyd's, uh, the mother of his daughter and his family, the rest of his family, are preparing to wage a legal war against Kanye, they said so, for $250 million. But they did send a cease and desist. They're not going to get no $250. The nigga no, was making $3, 250 right. a week before taxes when he but died. But you know when people do do that, man. He's not going to get no When people sue people, that. they go for the high numbers hoping to get anything out of that. Man. I mean, that's kind of just what happened. He already didn't pay for they, George Floyd's family's Few but that's was, why they were so appalled. They well, were like, oh he my did God. what? what he Kanye gave out. George Floyd family over $2 million. And Who that, did? Kanye. Kanye. When it all happened. That's and now they finna sue him. Now they finna sue him. Because of what? Because he said that they found fentanyl in the saying, system. Right. He, he, said that, he said the reason they he didn't He doesn't die. believe he died. He said he didn't. No, he said he, he said it matter of fact. He didn't say he believed. He said he didn't die because of the choking. He died because he had fentanyl in him. Yeah. Right, and they said that's already been proven in court. None of that was. Nigga, okay, but look, check this out. I'm gonna be so bold because I'm this kind. I'm this kind of nigga. Why do people like? Where I'm from, that's playing the dozens, but you, it's 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 a mean dozens. Why don't they just instead of suing him, say Kanye? Well, if George Floyd died because of fentanyl, why your mama died? <laughs> Why don't people just say that's what I would do? Like I ain't got time to be suing no nigga. I know how to hurt a nigga back. Yeah, that'd get, that'd Your get mama it. was finna start stripping, wasn't she? Oh my lord! Your mama was about to be goddamn shit. <laughs> but what happened? That bitch said, <laughs> "This is how you get back at niggas. You sit in the fire." I know how to reach in your heart and pull that motherfucker out like that motherfucker on Temple of Doom and be like, yeah. they will be found. You won't. Motherfucker, I know how to hurt a nigga feelings, dog. You can't say black people were in slavery by choice and expect me not to talk about you back. Right. You can't say Donald Trump is my father. You can't wear a shirt that say white lives matter knowing the uh, sensitive nature of that shit. Nigga, you killed your mama when you bought her some titties. <laughs> now what? Why is everybody mad? And then they went and got two lipos after that. Right. <laughs> Damn, you ain't learned He from got your lipo, mama. didn't he? Yeah, you ain't learned from your mama? Nigga, you got bitch hips. What? This is what this nigga do to us all the time. He set us out in front of them people. Absolutely. And then he pounded to us, and then he go back and try to beat them. If you was a good nigga, your mama would be here right now, nigga. You should have said, mama, you too old to get some motherfucking titties. Sit your motherfucking ass down and go to the mall with the rest of the bitches your age and play bingo. 
Yeah, cause my mama definitely ain't getting no goddamn surgery. This don't is how you get back at niggas. You don't sue them. You don't take niggas to the motherfucking courthouse on some shit, dog. We signify. Well, maybe after the cease and desist, maybe if they answer that back from then they won't follow through because they did send that. So I don't know. We'll see. Man, them, anyway, them, them, wait a minute. Go back down. Go back down. A little bit more. Okay. No, a little more. Fuck it. I can't find it. All right. Don't worry about it. I was looking for something. <laughs> Corey, look, people missing the main point of the convo Kanye had. What is the main point? <clears throat> Knowing is half the battle? What is the point he make? He dropping he, an app. He what? He's dropping an app. No, he buying an app. Well, I mean, yeah. From uh, the, oh, the girl, the Candace Owens girl. You think all this no, her, her husband. husband. Her husband. Yeah. Her husband you can say what you want to say on that. Candace app. Owens, money on. another bitch who just like Kanye. They dropping the app. Her husband. He finna buy something from a white boy. Yeah, it's an app where you can say whatever you want to say. Well, that's Come good. On. That's why I said, why we suing motherfucker? Nigga, Kanye live with super duper pain. But look, Corey, you don't think he, I think he paid George, made a deal with George Floyd's family because it's controversial to go at him. I don't think it's real. I think it's all fabricated to create controversy. It's trendy that's to true. do that. that I that, get what you're I, saying. I get that too. Just Great. like I what I said. Parts. I'm doing the do same thing. Life. Society has no chill. It's time to stop being ready to cancel people for what they say. Because I'm here to tell you, it's motherfuckers out here breaking in people's houses and they out of jail in an hour. Right. Hmm. What motherfuckers do means something. It's a bitch in my neighborhood who let her German shepherd out at night and people can get mauled and die. Ain't nothing happening to this bitch, but because a motherfucker, mm -hmm. set, the police showed up, they had animal control come out there. This is about a three hour process. I waited, because I wanted them to shoot the dog. <laughs> I, I, I called the police on the dog, because I was hoping they'd shoot the dog. Because oh the dog that ran up on me three times. Yeah. You gotta get to, oh, 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 oh. You gotta get to a I'm like, what the fuck? That sweater, so, he thought a bear was coming at him. That's all right, B. You wouldn't have saw him with your blind ass. You, know, you got that uh, American bulldog face. He thought you was a talent. <laughs> I bet you can't put, I bet you can't put him in a headlock with your wet arm, man. But I'm saying, and I want to say this, I did call the police on a dog. So I asked Scrancho, do that make me a trick? He said, no, you cool. You would have been a trick if you would have pressed charges on the dog. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> being court. You know, we was dying like a motherfucker when he said that shit. Somebody said Corey a canine snitch. Exactly, see? No, but it's really a serious situation in my neighborhood. This bitch keep letting her dog out at night and let the dog just roam. And he the type of dog, he'll run up on you. Don't think it. I think it's three calls. If your dog's running around without a leash and they're outside, you get... It's three I was mad at the police. They said they gave her three citations. I was like, what? man, scared. if that was my dog, y'all would have shot that yeah. motherfucker. Mm -hmm. That and, dog, because I, I was outside for a long time just waiting to see what happened because I'm a stupid motherfucker. <laughs> I just sat out there. But after about two hours, look, my stupid ass went in, but I kept my door open because <laughs> I thought I heard a truck pull up. It was the animal control truck. But before I got out there, I heard the dog say, I was like, did they kill it? Then oh. I went over there. I was looking outside, but I didn't want to go down there. Man. So after about 30 more minutes, I asked the police, where's the dog? Is he in the, did y'all kill it or what? They said, no, he ran in the house and we just gave her three citations. Oh. That's some bullshit. Dog lives matter, huh? <laughs> Look, Gucci Dan says, what color was the dog? The dog? <laughs> the dog is black with brown He's legs. He's a German shepherd. He's a German shepherd. He's black with brown legs. And he big as hell. Because when the police pulled up, I was like, there he go right there. I pointed him out. Like, oh, like, of course. He was really telling in this oh, right. He was in the back of the squad car. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they put the light on the dog. <laughs> is that him? Is that him? <laughs> I just came out there. He came out 
came out there with that sweater on. They ain't gonna like that look. Go get him. Hey, man, I was, I was, a, I was a bitch out there. I was like, "Daddy, dog, go right there." Up, nigga, hey, nigga, listen. That's but when the police saw that dog, they was like. That's a big ass dog. Okay, I was like, this motherfucker just be out. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not cool. Man, I'm telling you, man, I be having that goddamn it dog. I know if I shoot the dog, oh, they yeah. gonna act like I did something awful. <laughs> but now I know it's citations out on the dog. So now if she's I see match. that motherfucker. Yeah, because I think she's yeah. at her match. <laughs> <laughs> you got a what's that? What's that? You, Anybody know how a dog sound when he gets shot? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Shaggy, hell! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Mama, tear that motherfucker up! I know that bitch ain't my demographic. She ain't watching this show. That's a but I know that this motherfucker, you know, it's, it's a, I put a case on the dog so I could. <laughs> I put a case on all you. <laughs> oh, my God. Mama, goddammit, that dog. He's Let me catch that motherfucker again. Matter of fact, when I see him now, I'm gonna be like, "Yeah!" <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There it is. Yeller. Don't have that sweater on. I'm telling you, free old yellers. They look up the collar on my sweater and tell oh, them motherfuckers what God. it called. Why? What is? Say no, Burlington Co-Factor sweater. That is thick as hell. Oh my God, it's heavy. <laughs> Can you see the collar? It's a little damp back here. Yeah, God, no, this motherfucker is heavy. A dick in Voltaire. A dick in what? From Paris. And then we finna look up that motherfucking goddamn uh, hat. What's it called? And see what that motherfucker costs that they sell at the that's biker that's glove that's store. A dick in balls, huh? What'd you say? <laughs> you oh, gonna look it up. From France, yeah. Oh, the SAS. Where's it from, D? France. Oh, we got a beat, Craig, here. Oh, yeah. yeah, we be forgetting when certain motherfuckers show up. Look, Marcus, we like, fuck you, dig. I don't know how much exactly that one costs, but one of their hoodies is eleven fifty. Thank you. Listen, we about to take a break and come back with the song, because Craig got the piss, I got the piss too, goddammit. 5150, we shall be right back. Yeah. Five minutes, like last week. <laughs>
Testing, testing in the motherfucking house. God damn it. Corey Green in this motherfucker. Oh. We about to motherfucking come back with a motherfucking winter song. What's going on here? Give me that beat, y'all. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Don't go off what I say, go off what I do. That cancel culture is for the fools. It's for the fools. Yeah. What I do. Don't go off what I say, go off what I do. That cancel culture is for the fools. It's for the fools. What I do. I talked about a bitch one day. People all up in my face. A army of fat bitches was in my inbox talking shit, but I don't give a fuck. Cause I'm gon' duck the bullshit All them other niggas I scared to face Cause I'm staying in place I'm the motherfucking Corey Holcomb From the 5150 show I stay fucking the hoes Cause I got the dough And them bitches go oh, Don't, don't go, go off what I say Go off what I do 
That cancel culture is for the fools. It's for the yeah, yeah. What I do. Don't go off what I say, go off what I do. That cancel culture is for the fools. Yeah, yeah. Fuck the hear say and the ear play. Be on the movement, nigga. See what he say. Uh, cause we can come and go, but if niggas don't know the flow, they get lost in the casual progression of time. A lot of niggas running their mouth, but ain't eliminating the shine. Look, I'm here to stay, and that's what it is. And if you think I'm playing around, I give a nigga the biz. Go off what I, I say, go off what, what I do. That cancel culture is for the fools. It's for the yeah. fools. Don't go off what he says, go off what I do. That cancel culture is for the fools. Mark is what you gonna do. This verse right here is for the culture. Candace and Kanye ain't nothing but some vultures. I'm a young nigga from the south. Candace dick fit in your mouth. They don't represent us well, they can go to hell. Hey, man, where to go? All I got. He almost had a whole eight bar. It wasn't that damn father don't go off what I say, go off what I do. That cancel culture is for the fools. It's for the fools. Yeah. What I do, don't go off what I say, go off what I do. That cancel culture is for the fools. For the fools, this is what you gonna yeah. do. Finally say yeah. something, hit it. Oh, I don't wanna rap so you can make fun of me like Marcus. Talk about the things you've been through before I give you a slap. Can't hey. tell Corey nothing, cause he'll put your business out in the street. <laughs> hey, that's yeah, where to go, D. Yeah, yeah. See, D got that freestyle, she be going? shy. <laughs> Quit being shy and let it out. What you got, Craig? What? Hey, look. It's nothing to say, so I'ma lay back in the cutscene with game to play. Cause it's uh. a bitch that hate me, and a nigga that want my spot, but he can't take it away, cause I've been way too hot. From the days I was born to right now, I'ma step in this motherfucker and blow up like a bow. Bing, hit you in your motherfucking thing. You bitch ass nigga, you whole ass queen. Uh. Niggas be talking shit about who I am, but I tell them niggas, nigga, just scram. I'ma stay being the motherfucker I've been my whole life. Fucking all you niggas wife, cause you ain't got the type of mental capacity to come after a nigga. I'm in a chastity car. I don't know what else to say, but I'm guarantee you half these niggas gay. I'ma hey, give you know something oh. better, Corey Council that sweater. Oh. It's the boy Marcus, I'm a real go getter. Uh -oh. hey, bitch on the side, yes sir, I'm gonna get her. Hey, I'm the whole nigga splitter. All yeah. right, go Marcus. Oh, nigga, split her. <laughs> Marcus gonna get her. Hey. But when it really boil down to it, that nigga gonna be sitting in the shit, huh? Hey. <laughs> he ain't that motherfucker who he say he is. Cause under his armpits, every weight, he be dripping jizz. Hey. Go off what I say, say go off what, what I do. That cancel culture is for the fools. It's for yeah. the fools. hammer like a sledge when it boils down to it you niggas are eggs yeah hard boiled and spoiled boil with the wrong nigga and get your ass boiled yeah use the same word twice because it's mic device is what i rock real nice and you niggas know my name because it's all around town the nigga that'll make you laugh and take your bitch down the nigga that'll grab the mic and do what i do so i'ma pass it to my nigga so he can come through with your this be all freestyle that we saying Bitch, a nigga really ain't playing hey. Giving your game how to better your life I'm giving your game how to become a wife Listen to Corey, hear what I say Bitch, I'm not about to play If you're in the streets, you must obey Or the dragon's gonna slay I'm gonna give him one more verse uh -oh. Then I'm out Cause this nigga Corey sit over there with his titties out ah. Titties out Titties out, the niggas say I got my titties out. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, I don't got a duck. The bitches I fuck with, I give them a few bucks. And they be down to go with whatever. Now who's really clever? Go off what I, I say, say, go off what, what I, I do. do. That cancel culture, culture is for the fools. 
is for the fool. Don't go off what I say, go off what I do. That cancel culture is for the fools. It's for the fools. Keep that beat rolling as we motherfucking come on out with the outro on what we got going on this week. Albany, New York, Thursday night. God damn it, I think that's the um, 20th. The 21st and the 22nd. Hartford, Connecticut at the motherfucking Funny Bone. Y'all know what it is. Get your tickets. The shit gonna do good. Come fuck with me out there in the motherfucking East Coast doing the most. Albany, New York. Funny Bone. Thursday night, the 20th. 21st, 22nd. Hartford, Connecticut at the Funny Bone. You know what's up. And then next week after this in Milwaukee, it's the show with Earthquake on it. Yeah, you did that shit in the green room back before. But I'ma play you like you a funky whore. Uh. Quake. Jesus. Hey, <laughs> this beat is coasting. That beat hard. Who Do they got you still hosting? If I'm hosting the show, you know them niggas about to hit the flow. Cause I'ma come with my brand new jokes. I ain't been to Milwaukee in a while. I got a couple of hoes. It's right by the shy anyway. I might put a bitch in the car so I can play. Hey. Uh, what you got going on, Craig Fax? Man, Give it to him. Craig Fax, live on Caffeine every Tuesday. Also, I got Roast with the host. Morning show, the funniest morning show on the planet. Uh, shooting a host of other things, man. You know, just check me out. I've been focused on that. I may be in New York on the 25th. I just thought about that if I could get off. But yeah, check out check out the uh, Craig Facts and Roast with the Host Morning Show. Subscribe to the Caffeine app and follow the Comedy Press. And if all you something, get it from God. God, God, God. Craig Fax, a real friend of the show. Every time he call, I be like, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Because he, he a real like ass man. Yeah. And not a real ass man. Niggas <laughs> don't like me because of what I said. Yeah. Niggas don't like me because of what I said. Nigga, you the fed. What? Marcus, what's happening to Marv? Tomorrow, Mainstream, M A N E Stream on YouTube. Mainstream. Come tap in with us. We had Chico last week, man. He came fuck oh, with us, man. Nice. Yeah, he's Mainstream. Too, man. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Chico, nigga, a real man. nigga for that real. Is. Yeah, and then, uh, man, Sunday. Let them know, man. Pull up on me at the Tampa Improv, Tampa, Florida, man. Tampa Go on, Improv. get them tickets, man. What day you gonna be Sunday. there? Sunday. Sunday at 7 o'clock, man. Me and Slink. I got Slink nice. uh, coming down there with Slink me, man. Slink from Black oh. Jesus. Oh, That's yeah. my real nigga. Yeah, man. So, you know what I'm saying? And then we supposed to have surprise guests, too. So, Go on, get them surprise tickets, Surprise guests. Man. There you go. Bless my man Marcus at his show. He in Tampa where the wind really blow. That hurricane took y'all boats on your house. Put a lot of shit in your mouth. Yeah. From the south. Oh, and DKC. Check out the, what? If I can't, I went to that party you had this week. Oh, God. Everybody oh, out of all the nights you guys you go, I know. This week. <laughs> it was lame this week. That's I came in there. I only seen like three. <laughs> it was terrible. It was. But we will support when they do it again. Please. Cause if they your people, they must be my friend. Yeah. We trying to blow the shit up. Weak niggas, we don't give a fuck. That's right. But no, look, Feel? go to the uh, uh, bigcartel.com, 50 on 50 gear. Uh, tomorrow, maybe late tomorrow, cause I'm gonna drop some prices on some items. Just so we can make some spaces. Yeah. We gonna drop some prices at the stove. Please support. Nigga, go on the site and buy a t shirt or two. That's how you support the show, we yes. Thank you. We hard. thank you. We thank you. Hey, We thank you. And, and I, I have extra fun on that, too, though. I, I like to write handwritten notes to people, so. You could get some pussy if you buy oh, a shirt God, from D. <laughs> you can get some pussy if you buy a shirt from D. No. Anyway. All you gotta do is act like she pretty. Don't work with me. Don't <laughs> tell you come on with that D. Yeah, don't work. The D. <laughs> 5150, we live another week. We about to wrap this shit up. 
Y'all motherfuckers ain't gonna stop us. I don't give a fuck. That envy, I feel it. When you in my presence, I know who you are. I feel you. You cannot hide from me. I know what the fuck it really is. You dig what I'm saying? But 5150, we still gonna live. We up out this bitch. Big shout out to all the niggas that I fuck with for real. Nate, your crazy ass motherfucker. Uh, miss you, Nate. We miss you. Work them hoes, boy. I'm talking about my nigga. Never anything too easy from the shy. Oh, so. Which Nate else. you talking about? Oh, I'm talking about other Nate. Big Which Nate? Nate? Oh, Big Nate. That's the homie. Big Nate, motherfucker. Miss you, Nate. Got the club in Seattle. Yes. Where the comics gonna battle to get on stage and make them ends. Mm -hmm. Nate, 5150 show is your friend. Come on back and help me sing. Cause every time you come to the show, you bring something special. I'm giving all you your flowers. But you cake ass niggas, get a job, work some hours. And cake he devoured. You say a cake I devoured. <laughs> <laughs> and his body smells sour. Just imagine if I worked out for about three weeks, boy, I'd be out of this motherfucker. Well, like somebody that. said your shoulders are light skinned. <laughs> somebody said my shoulders <laughs> light skinned. That nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga like a Rottweiler. That nigga black and brown. <laughs> <laughs> you look like an Arkansas. Um, what they, them, uh, what are the things for, for St. Patrick's Day? Leprechaun. Yeah. You a ghetto ass leprechaun in this motherfucker. Oh. The reason you got on that vest, so we don't see that mess. Hey. Cause every time you stress, your underarms be blessed. Hey. Yeah. He with the mace. You got a Georgia Bulldog face. A Georgia Bulldog face. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. 5150, motherfucker. We up out this bitch, nigga. Stay safe. Go. 5150, hope.